Hello everybody, this is Joe. I'm your toaster freak. Today we're going to manually trigger a Sunbeam toaster, which always presents problems with people trying to figure out how or if these things are going to work. So what we have is we have the electrical contacts here and normally if your toaster is working correctly when the trigger is depressed then it functions like this. Now while that's this way you can see this little strip right here. This is non-conductive and that's going to be the key for how we're going to test one that isn't working properly but which is capable of working where the electrical contacts are all correct but uh, probably just the bimetal strip is under too much pressure to work properly so we watch it finish its cycle coming up to the top really ingenious mechanism that they built here. So what we do in order to test if if we can't trigger it in any normal fashion is we just reach down here to that non-conductive strip and we just press it toward the toaster and you can see holding it in that it makes the contacts work and we let off and it ends. Now that we didn't actually trip the toaster here all we did was cause the contacts to come up on each other. See, we can put it back down, let it up. All we're doing is pushing that strip in, which causes these contacts to come into contact with each other. Push it in, power, let it off, no power. And it's that simple. If that doesn't work, then the problem is probably that there is no power flowing from the plug-in to these points. Okay?